Good morning. We'll be doing Chapter 5, Organizational Ethics and the Law. Slide number two, Key Learning Objectives. Classifying an organization's culture and ethical climate. Recognizing ethics challenges across the multiple functions of business. Creating effective ethics policies, ethics training programs, ethics reporting mechanisms, and similar safeguards. Assessing the strengths and weaknesses of a comprehensive ethics program. Understanding how to conduct business ethically in the global marketplace. Identifying the differences between ethics and the law, which is very, very important for all of us. Corporate culture and ethical climates. Corporate culture, a blend of ideas, customs, traditional practices, company values, and shared meaning that help define normal behavior for everyone who works in a company. Ethical climate, the unspoken understanding among employees of what is and is not acceptable behavior. Multiple climates or subclimates can exist with one within one organization. Slide number four, figure 5.1, the components of ethical climates. You have ethical criteria, focus of individual person, the organization and society. For example, we have egoism, otherwise known as self-centered approach, is one of the examples of ethical criteria. The focus of the individual is obviously on the self. That's when the egoist, the person who's only involved with his or her ego. The organization's is the company's self-interest, and of course, society, economy, efficiency, economic efficiency. That's what it is basically dealing with. Benevolence is the other ethical criteria, concerns for others. It deals with friendship, on focus on individual person, the organization. Team interest is the name of the game, and society, social responsibility. Then the last ethical criteria is principle, integrity approach. Personal morality is the focus of the individual person organization, company rules and procedures, and society, laws and professional codes of conduct. We now move on to slide five. Business ethics across organizational functions. Business operations can be very specialized, leading to ethical challenges related to those functional areas. Professional ethical standards may conflict with the ethical standards within the organization. Professional associations may have ethical standards that apply to that function. Physicians, lawyers have ethical standards. Professional codes of conduct examples. American Institute of Certified Public Accountants, AICPA, Code of Professional Conduct. Chartered Financial Analyst, CFA, CFA Institute, Code of Ethics and Standards of Professional Conduct. American Marketing Association, the AMA. And the Association for Computing Machinery, Code of Ethics and Professional Conduct, known as the ACM. Slide number seven. Building ethics safeguard into the company. To improve the quality of a company's ethical performance, you have to change the culture so that ethics is a part of everyday decision making. The corporate culture is just like culture that we have outside of work. It's the way we do things. And it's important to engender a corporate culture that is ethical at its core. And that can only happen with top down management. To do so, <clears throat> means institutionalizing ethics or building ethics safeguards into everyday routines. A recent survey of ethics safeguards or programs of major corporation companies is shown in the next slide, which is slide eight. You can look at that at, on your own. Slide number nine, two ethics approach, compliance-based approach, seeks to avoid legal actions, emphasizes threat or detection, and punishment to promote lawful employee behavior. So they're based on compliance based. They want to do the right thing. They don't want to break the law. Integrity based approach combines concern for the law with emphasis on employee responsibility for ethical conduct. Employees instructed to act with integrity and conduct business dealings honestly. Both approaches have been found to lessen unethical conduct, but in somewhat different ways. Slide number 10, ethics programs and policies. Top management commitment and involvement critical to fostering employee ethical behavior. Ethics policies or codes provides guidance to managers and employees on what to do when faced with an ethical dilemma. In the U.S., policies tend to be instrumental, providing rules and procedures. In Japan, policies tend to be combinations of legal compliance and company values. Just having a code or policy is insufficient. It must be widely distributed and have associated training. Slide number 11, ethics and compliance officers. 
relatively new position which started in the 1980s that has grown significantly. Membership in professional associations, ethics and compliance officer associations doubled between 2000 and 2004. Ethics reporting mechanisms. Purpose includes providing interpretation of proper ethical behavior, avenue for, promote, for reporting unethical conduct, and information sharing tool. Employees can place a call on the company's ethics assist or helpline. I had that once when I worked for a hospital. If you saw anybody breaking any rules or acting unethically, you were able to leave an anonymous number. Executives tend to use the helpline more often than middle managers. Slide number 12. Ethics program and policies, ethics training programs, is, very effective, is a very effective method for promoting workplace ethical behavior, most expensive and time-consuming element of an ethics program. Ethics audits, formal study of deviations from company ethical standards. Management must report on corrective action to be taken in response to found deviations. Slide number 13, comprehensive ethics programs. Integration of various program policy components is critical to effective ethics design. Integrated approach is called a comprehensive program. 26% of companies recently surveyed had a six element program integrating written policies, training, advice resources, hotline, ethics discipline, and evaluating systems. Those working at firms with a comprehensive program are more likely to report ethical misconduct because the culture engenders that kind of behavior and it is expected of people to do that. More likely to be satisfied with any investigation and response to ethical misconduct. Slide 14. Corporate Ethics Awards, awarded to companies for efforts in creating and improving their ethical performance. These companies serve as models for others to follow. It demonstrates that firms can be financially successful and ethically focused. You don't have to sacrifice the bottom line to behave ethically. The Foundation for Financial Service Professional sponsors the American Business Ethics Awards, ABEA, which recognizes companies that exemplify high standards of ethical behavior, in their everyday business conduct and in response to specific crises or challenges. Ethics in a global economy. Doing business in global context brings up hosts of complex ethical challenges. Common example is bribery, which unfortunately is very accepted in many cultures. Bribery is defined as a questionable or unjust payment often to a, to a government official to ensure or facilitate a business transaction. International watchdog agency Transparency International publishes a survey of countries' levels of, corporate, of corruption. Bribe-taking more likely in countries with lower per capita income, low salaries for government officials, and less income variation. South America is rife with bribery. Law, law, law officers take bribes as part of their salaries. Efforts to curtail bribery on the global level. Organizations for Economic Co Co Cooperation and Development otherwise known as OECD Treaty, effort for member countries to agree to steps to prevent and combat bribery. Nearly 40 countries ratified the treaty. Other initiatives, China's National Corruption Prevention Bureau, International Labor Organization and the United Nations have attempted to develop an international code of conduct for multinational corporations. The U.S. Foreign Corruption Practices Act prohibits executives of U.S.-based companies to pay bribes to foreign government officials. Slide 17, relationship between law and ethics, both define proper and improper behavior. Laws are society's attempt to formalize ethical standards written to capture public's wishes about what constitutes right and wrong behavior. Ethical concepts are more complex than laws, often apply to areas not covered by laws. Some businesses proactively address ethical areas not covered by law through voluntary adopted practices. Managers who are trying to improve their company's ethical performance need to do more than comply with laws. Slide 18, cost of corporate lawbreaking. Lawbreaking in business is often a result of acts committed by the organization's own employees. White collar crime accounts for more than 330,000 arrests a year. Illegal acts committed by individuals, employees, or businesses, professionals, such as fraud, insider trading, embezzlement, or computer crime. The Association of Certified Fraud Examiners, ACFE, reported in 2012 that the typical organization lost 5% of its revenues to fraud each year. This translated to a potential global fraud loss of more than $3.5 trillion.
dollars. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.